<coughs> now let us see what is double order okay we are having a double order and something called as triple order okay in case of double order we are going to print the data of every uh, node two times and in case of triple order we are going to print the data of every node three times okay so now let us try to see what is the program for double order program is so double order so it is node star root and then we have to see if root then printf percentage c comma root arrow data and then we have to visit double order root arrow left and then we have to print f percentage c comma root arrow data and then we have to print double order root arrow right okay so this is double order now let us see a program for triple order so it is triple order and it is node star root and then we are having if root printf percentage c comma root arrow data and then we have to trip do triple order node so this is root arrow left and then printf percentage c comma root arrow data and then again we have to do triple order root arrow right and then we have to do printf percentage c comma root arrow data okay so this is the program for triple order so as you can see <coughs> in this program of triple, triple order we are having three printf statements in case of double order we are having two printf statements okay now let us suppose we are having a tree so this is a tree which we are having a b c d okay so let us suppose this is the tree which we are having and we have to apply double order and triple order in this tree okay so let me just make two copies of this tree so that it will be easy to uh, execute double order and triple order on them separately okay now there's something which is very good uh, about trees that you can uh, uh, write these recursive calls within uh, the nodes that means uh, which node has already executed which statement okay so let me just number the lines then i'll show you what i'm saying so this is the line number one line number two line number three and the line number four here in this case this is line number one line number two line number three line number four and line number five okay and let us suppose this is the root in both the cases okay so here now let us try to execute the double order into this tree now in this tree uh, let us suppose we are having some addresses so address for this node is 1000 address for this node is 2000 address of this node is 3000 address of this node is 4000 okay and same here okay now in this tree so initially when we call this function it is going to call double order 1000 so in that case the value in root is 1000 and 1000 is not null therefore this if condition is going to return us true therefore for this a node we are going to execute the line number one 
right for this a node so when we execute the line number one it is going to print the data which is present in this a node so we are going to print a and then we are going to execute the line number two so if we are going to execute the line number two here then we are going to call double order in left so we'll be going to the left uh, subtree for this right so for this b initially we are going to execute the line number one so line number one means we are going to print this b and then we have to execute the line number two so for this b the line number two says uh, visit the left subtree in double order so that means we are going to visit this d now for this d uh, we are going to execute the line number one so when we are going to execute the line number one that means we are going to print the data which is present in d and therefore it is going to print d now we are going to visit the line number two so in the line number two it means uh, visit the left subtree in double order but but there is no left subtree here therefore we are going to call null here so when we call the left subtree in that case this root is going to be null so this condition is filled the control will go back to the previous statement here to this and then we are going to execute the line number three and in the line number three we are going to print d again and then we are going to execute the line number four that means we have to visit the right subtree for this d but there is no right subtree so control will go back to the previous statement now for this b we have already ex execu executed the line number one and the line number two now we have to execute the line number three right that means we have to print d and then we have to execute the line number four for this b and the line number four is saying visit the right subtree in double order but there is no right subtree okay then we have to go to the previous statement control will go to the previous statement now for this a we have already executed the line number one and the line number two therefore now it is a turn to execute the line number three right so for this line number three means we are going to print the data present in a so we are going to print a and then we are going to print uh, do the right number four then line number four is saying visit the right subtree in double order right for this right subtree initially we are going to print the root in the line number one so it is going to print c and then it, in the line number two it is going to call the left subtree in uh, double order but there is no left subtree so control will go back to the previous uh, statement so we are going to execute the line number three so line number three is going to print c here and then the control will say uh, it is it is going to execute the line number four and there is no uh, right node here so uh, this is, is also going to execute all its statements. So if you see we have printed each and every data two times This D is printed two times this B is printed two times this A is printed two times and this C is printed two times So this is double order. Okay. Now let us see the triple order Okay Now for this about tree initially we are going to execute the line number one for this node A so that means we are going to print A and then we are going to execute the line number 2 and the line number 2 is saying uh, visit the left subtree in triple order. Okay. Now for this B we are going to execute the line number 1 and line number 1 is going to give us B and then we are going to execute the line number 2 which is going to say visit the left subtree in post order. That means for this D we are going to execute the line number 1 which is going to print D and then we are going to execute the line number 2 which is going to say visit the left subtree in post order but there is no left subtree. So control will go back to the previous statement. So we are going to execute the line number three here, which is going to print D again. And then we are going to say, visit the right subtree in uh, triple order, right? Therefore, uh, when we are going to visit the right subtree in tri triple order, there is no right subtree. So we are going to print the data again in line number four. It is going to print D again. Uh, so in line number actually five, this, this is going to print D again in line number five, right? And the control will go back to the previous statement. Now for this B, it is now going to execute the line number 3, that means it is going to print B again. This is actually D. Okay, and then it is going to ex execute the line number 4. Line number 4 will, saying, uh, will be saying, visit the right subtree in uh, triple order, but there is no right subtree. Right, therefore uh, we are going to execute the line number 5 for this B. And the line number 5 is going to print as B. And then the control will go back to the previous statement. Now it is going to say, print uh, visit the line number 3 execute the line number 3 and line number 3 is going to execute this uh, is going to print a and then we are going to execute the line number 4 which is going to say visit the right subtree in triple order now for this c we are going to execute the line number 1 so it is going to print c then we are going to execute the line number 2 but nothing, nothing will happen because there is no left subtree and then we are going to execute the line number 3 which is again going to print c and then we are going to execute the line number four. Uh, there is no right subtree, therefore nothing will happen. So we are going to print. Uh, we are going to execute the line number five. 
which is going to print C again and then the control will go back to the previous statement and here also we are going to print the line number 5 again and it is going to print A right so if you see in case of triple order we have printed every data three times okay so this is triple order and double order